Hello and welcome to this video where I'll show you how you can use the Snowflake Connector for SAP from DVW Analytics to bring your data from SAP directly into your Snowflake instance. And you can see in the diagram here how we use OData or RFC connections into your SAP system to build connectivity in the DVW Analytics platform in order to push data directly into Snowflake. So let's start by focusing on the DVW integration platform or console. Here's the console and you can see I've already created several connections to different SAP sources. Those sources can be SAP tables, BW queries, even HANA views or T codes amongst many more. You can see also that we can connect to multivarious SAP systems, ECC, HANA, BW, indeed pretty much anything with SAP on the label. In this instance I'm going to connect to an SAP table in my ECC system so I give the connection I'm going to create in the console name and I can search for the table that I'm interested in making a call back to the SAP ECC system to retrieve the metadata of that table. We can see that quickly the data and key fields are shown and the user can then select whichever ones are relevant. I'm just going to choose a few here, one or two, and these are the fields that will be output into Snowflake. I can also choose to filter on any of these fields in order to get exactly the data that I'm interested in. I add the filter and can even retrieve possible values from within SAP. I can add single values or have a range and even select from a list. This is especially important as we can then use the split functionality which is available within all our tools which enables the calls to be chunked up and then very large calls of tens or hundreds of millions of lines can be dealt with efficiently. Another nice feature is that you can preview your data calls within the console making sure that you've got the right data and then we can adjust to give all the data rather than the limited number in the preview then save our configuration as you can see here. Now we can use the script tab to automatically build a Python script which when run controls the flow of data from SAP into your Snowflake table. And we can see on the diagram here how once we've built our connection and our Python script we can promote it into the server version of our tool and then that can be used to automate the flows into Snowflake. And so we build and test on the desktop console, we publish into our server console and then it's really easy to schedule that data flow from SAP into Snowflake where we can manage the data and finally consume the data in our downstream analytics. So if we go back to our console now we can see the two files that have been created our connection and our Python script and if we select those then we can right click and publish them into the server version the remote version of our tool. Within the same console we can see that transition and manage the server from the same place. Here's our Python script and it's easy from here to schedule the push of that SAP data into Snowflake. And so you can see here it's really easy within the server console to set up and manage those scheduled flows into Snowflake. So moving over to Snowflake you can see I've set up a table, the Mara table, to match the one that I've extracted from SAP, picking the same fields of course and once the schedule push has been run from within the server console we'll see that data land and there it is within Snowflake automated directly from SAP. Now finally you can see that I'm also extracting tables BKPF and BSEG so finance GL tables. I've created just a simple join of those two tables using the key as you can see here and that then gives me within Snowflake the full view of the records posted, the journal records posted within SAP, header and line item, ready for use anywhere we wish. So that's SAP data being pushed directly and automatically into Snowflake, ready for use downstream in your analytics. I hope this video has been useful to you. If you'd like to see more, then please visit us at our website. That's dvwanalytics.com. Thank you.